Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to create full animated stories with ChatGPT. In today's video, I'll walk you through how to use ChatGPT's new image model to create fully designed animated scenes with consistent characters and environment. We'll generate all our visuals directly in ChatGPT and then I'll introduce a separate tool to handle the animation part. This tutorial goes a step further by showing you how to bring it all together to build short animated stories using ChatGPT. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do full animations using GPT. And let's get started. So first, you head over to ChatGPT.com. You want to head over to the left and click on Explore GPT. Then simply search for Animation Script Builder. So this one, click on that and then simply click on start chat. So right here in the chat, you can describe what kind of project you're trying to work on. So you put your entire script if you have one there or be detailed as possible. In my case, I'm going to simply just say, write a 3D cartoon animation script about a boy getting ready for school. So it's very simple, but I just wanna do something here for a quick test. So as you can see, it's gone ahead and asked me some clarifying questions. So it's gone ahead and asked me how many characters will be in this animation, character descriptions like name, age, appearance, personality, preferred animation style, Pixar style, classic cartoon 3D, anime style, or something else. So I will say there should be two characters, the boy and his mom. Go ahead and come up with the rest of the details. So as you can see, it started first by generating our characters. So it's described the character for the boy and the character for the mom. So that's the first step. So next I'm going to say, go ahead and create the image for the boy, for the first character. Okay, so let's wait for it. So you see it's gone ahead and generated the image for my first character. So this is the boy that it has generated. He's very cute. He's wearing dinosaur pajamas, um, Hello Kitty sleepers, and he's got a curly hair. So it says right here, got it, generating the second character image next. So it has generated the image of the second character, which is the mom. So there we go. We have the images for both of our characters. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to create this script for scene one. So I'm doing it scene by scene. As you can see, it's broken down scene one right here. So it's given me each of the shots. So for shot one, there's a little bit of a narration, a little bit of the scene. The text to image prompt is right there also. And also the image to video prompt. So I can copy this and put in any of my generation to have the final scene. So all of that looks good. What we're going to do next is instead of going right here in the same chat to continue to generate the images, I'm actually going to go ahead and copy all of this script and everything that this chat chat has generated. Then I'm going to go ahead and start a brand new chat. So let's click this right here. And then once you click on the new chat right here, you want to make sure you are on Chipity 4.0. Then I'm going to then paste the script in here and make sure in the top you also paste the description for the two characters just to make sure we get that consistent characters and really nice looking images so below i'm gonna put a prompt that says create a front view of the image of the boy on a white background and there we go we got the image of the boy on a white background it's looking very nice so next it says right here would you like me to generate an image of mom next so I'm just going to say yes, please. And so there we go. We have both our characters visualized. But in this one, I want to change it mom's bathrobe into color blue. So I'm just going to say replace the bathrobe with a blue one. And there we go. We changed the pink one into a blue one. The face of the mom is still consistent. Very, very nice. Next, I'm going to say create the image of shot one, three by two. So this has what generated in the first scene, but I think it's not really accurate. Let me check the prompt. So it says right here, it's early morning. 
and someone's not quite ready to leave dreamland so description it says the boy is sleeping in bed curled up under a dinosaur blanket with the morning light filtering in through the window so let's go back to chachapati as you can see it's not really accurate the boy is he's like jumping he's not laying in his bed so i'm just gonna say follow the description of the shot one properly and there we go so i think this one is better the boy is lying down in his bed he's got his dinosaur blanket and there's like the morning light filtering in through the window so i like this one this one is better next i'm going to say create the image of shot two three by two so now we have the second scene generated so let's check out the prompt shot description close-up of mom's face as she gently peeks into the room speaking warmly but with purpose so i think this one chachapati got it right so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process create the image for shot three shot four and shot five so for all the shots that i have in the script that is what it's done it's generated all of this for me so if you notice throughout our characters both the mom and the boy have remained consistent across the scene and i haven't had to do so much work with that so chachapati just remembers all the contacts from the chat and is able to maintain the consistency of the characters even the clothing and even the environment of the room all right now that we've generated all the images for our characters and my scenes are ready to go we need to start bringing them to life by animating them so there are several tools you can use for this but in this video i'm going to use cling ai so i've opened up cling ai right here so i'm going to go right here and click on the upload image option and now i need a prompt to give to cling ai so remember chat has generated everything for me so i'm going to go back to chat and for shot one it's right here so i'm just going to copy this one image to video prompt and let's go back to cling ai and paste it right there I'm going to add a little bit of camera movement to just have the camera zooming in. But I'm going to hit on generate. Clean AI now has Clean 2.0. Might have heard about that from my previous video. So when it comes to sort of especially like the 3D animation style, you do not get much of a difference from 1.6 for most of your shots. So there are shots where it becomes very good because it's very good at prompt adherence. And especially when you have shots that have a lot of fast motion movement and this is what the scene looks like so as you can see it's a very static scene there's not that much movement so there was no need for me to use clean 2.0 i've gone ahead and repeated the same thing for each scene so here are just a couple of examples i want to show you Now, the next thing we're going to do is to start to generate some of my dialogue. So I'm going to go right here where we have our scene two and the dialogue for mom. It's already generated what the dialogue was. I'm just going to copy that entire dialogue. So open 11 labs and just paste the dialogue right there. So let's click on generate. And here we go. So let's listen to the audio. It's early morning. And someone's not quite ready to leave dreamland so now that we have that what we're going to do is to generate lip sync so i can still do that in clang ai but it's not the best in most cases but i'll show you how that works so below here you can see there's a lip sync option so just click on that so i'm gonna upload local dubbing and i'm gonna put the file that i've generated using 11 labs and this is the result let's look at it sweetie time to get up so if you watch my previous videos, you can see there all the tools that you can use for lip syncing. You can use Kling AI, it's great. But one tool I didn't show you in that video, and that's because it doesn't have that much of a big generous free plan. So I was trying to cover some tools that gives you at least maybe monthly free credit or daily free credit. So now that I'm done with all the shots, we've done the images, we've done the animations, and we've done the lip syncing. So the final thing is just to put everything together in CopCut. So in this video, we're going to use CopCut. So I'm just going to simply drag all my videos and put them together and cut them out and just arrange them right here, scene by scene. So it's just by dragging, dropping, and using the tool right here to cut whatever part that I don't want. 
And then the final part of all of this, which is very important to do, is the sound design. So I'm going to add the background music, add a little bit of sound effects and sound design to bring everything to life. And I'm going to show you the final product right now. Sweetie, time to get up. Five more minutes, mom. Okay, but if you're late, the dinosaurs will go to school without you. Wait, what? No! And just like that, the race begins. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time. Introducing Vidco. And tap your creativity with the best video AIs. Instantly create stunning videos, B-rolls, shorts, intros, and more. Powered by world-class AIs. Get access to top-end and exclusive video AIs. Like Minimax Video 01, Pyramid Flow, Kling AI, Luma Dream Machine, Hyper 2.5, One Video, Gen 3, VO2, etc. Dual function models included text-to-video and image-to-video. Create videos in any style or genre with text-to-video AIs. Turn any image into a motion video with the top image-to-video AIs. Any genre, any visual style, Vidgo can create any video you want, including live action, hyper-realistic, photorealistic, 3D animation, cartoon, motion graphics, slow motion, pixel worlds, 2.5D visual, etc. Vidgo is powerful and easy to use. So what are you waiting for? Get Vidco now. Just go to getvidco.in.